Welcome to Brilliantly British. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to start off the show by going back in time to the Victorian era. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, maybe even four o'clock. You're feeling a bit weak, a bit tired, hungry. What do you do? I'd recommend taking a leaf out of Queen Victoria's book. Her Royal Highness, Queen Victoria, would often at this time have some sandwiches and some cake. This cake, a Victoria sponge cake. Everyone in the UK knows and loves this cake. And today I'm going to show you how to make this. And of course, at the end, taste this cake to describe to you how amazing this cake is and how worthwhile it is to make. To start ourselves off, switch on the oven to get it preheating. You will need some room temperature butter, some sugar, some self-raising flour. If you can't get hold of this, then in the description below, it'll be explained how to make this yourself. Some eggs, baking powder, some vanilla extract. And then for the filling, there's some homemade jam here, the link of which is up there, and some heavy whipping cream. The first step of making a beautifully light and spongy Victoria sponge cake is of course, um, mixing the butter and the sugar together. And we're gonna whisk this together um, until the butter is pale. This, will, this is a good indication that it's now been well aerated. So this should take a few minutes. This is exactly what it should look like once the sugar has been well uh, incorporated into the butter and the butter has been incorporated with a lot of air. Now we're ready to add in our eggs. First, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. It's important to add the eggs in gradually to ensure that the mixture doesn't split. Each time waiting for everything to incorporate before adding more. And the last part of our eggs. Now we're ready to add our flour and finish off this mix. We're going to add the baking powder to our self-raising self flour. Mix that together. The best way to add uh, more air to this mixture is to obviously sift the flour. If you don't have one of these, then just use a sieve. Now it's important when mixing the flour in to be very gentle, to fold it in. We don't want to work the flour too much and develop the gluten because this will give us a very tough cake. If for any reason your mix seems or appears to be a bit dry, feel free to add a little bit of milk as well to thin it out a bit. Okay, and there we have it. Our beautiful cake batter is ready. Here's my lined baking tin. A Victoria sponge is really a sandwich and crucially you need two halves. If you have two of the same tins, that's perfect. You can just literally split the mixture in half and then put both halves in each tin. In my case, I will only have one, so I will need to do two batches. Now this is going to go into our preheated oven and then we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Whilst the cake cools, we're going to whip the cream. In a bowl, this is optional, uh, I've put in a teaspoon of sugar just to sweeten the cream a little bit. So we just want it to be able to hold onto the spatula. One of the best things ever is just whipped cream, no? So here we are. We have arrived at the point where we are ready to put this thing together. So the first step I would advise, take your cake tin. If you have a spring form one, like the one I used, then this will be so much easier. Take your first layer of sponge, careful, it's delicate and put the spring form around it. Now what this will do is make sure you don't go too far over the edges and we'll keep your cake in the end nice and night, nice and nice. Nice and nice. So the first thing we do is we put on the jam. Now the purpose of the jam is, apart from the taste, is also to glue the two um, halves together. So first layer done. Now we're going to put on the cream. I would advise when you spread this not to go too close to the edges because once the second layer sits on it'll spread out the filling for you. We flip this, the top layer, over. Another helping of jam. 
I'm going to spread this around very delicately. We flip this over and then we just drop this on top and then very gently just push this down. Then I'm going to clear this up and then we're going to dust the top of it. So you'll probably need no more than a teaspoon of icing sugar and then dust over the top. So now the ring is going to come off. And there we have it. A beautiful Victoria sponge cake. This looks about ready to taste. Let's do it. We've got ourselves a slice. Let's tuck into this. I did originally want to use a fork, but just like a sandwich, and it is essentially a sandwich, I'm gonna pick this up and bite into it. Mm. It's delicious. This cake is quite often the cake for a wedding, birthdays in the UK. It's just, it ticks all of the boxes. Sponge is delicate, light and fluffy, just as it should be. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brilliantly British. Hopefully you've, you feel inspired to try and make this cake for yourselves. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time. Thank you.